What is up, guys? Welcome back to the freaking channel, Walking on Water. In today's episode, we are back on the freaking Columbia River, baby, and I am so freaking pumped. We got here last night at like 8 o'clock. Pretty, always a rough day the first day. Um, we got all settled in. Didn't get any sleep at all. Freaking extremely exhausted, but we're freaking ready to rock today. Was planning on going to Drano Lake again to fish because it's Wednesday. I wanted to fish Drano throughout the week, but man, oh man, there was literally, there was literally no life. 300 plus boats. There was boats all the way to that first tunnel. If you know Drano, it's like a literally three quarters of a mile down the road. And there was boats stacked against the white line all the way to that freaking point. So absolutely freaking insane. So I decided to come down to Wind River, got here. Boat ramp was pretty clear, got the kayak in, and now we're trolling out to the freaking spot. So stay tuned, guys. Hopefully we get out here and bonk some big freaking shit up for you guys. I'm so stoked. 4,000 fish came over the dam three days ago, and 2,200 came over um, just two days ago, and I will check the dam count for yesterday here coming soon, and I will update you guys. So we are on the Wind River. This is Walking on Water. Let's go bonk some freaking Chinook, baby. I can do it without the rain. That's right. The army taught me something. We had to go reset it up really fast. Came back out. The first pass back out. Cam, I think you talked it on the hook, bro. I think you talked it on the hook, man. chaos out here no matter what I lost my freaking rod holder I'm all tangled up in my other line it's a hatchery fish though so woo! I thought I was hitting the freaking bottom and so I reeled up a couple times because we had just we had just gone up a little bit the river floor just went up a little bit so we were like 14 feet and then went up to about 10 feet so I reeled up just a little bit and ta 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 just waited a minute and then fish on. So first thing in the morning, I was out here a little bit late. It was up at Drano and freaking there's 6,000 boats up there. 
couldn't even it was hard to even pass by that spot this morning so we're all tangled up but we got lines in the motor we lost the rod holder already and so now we're gonna go back and bleed this freaking fish and probably go buy a rod holder man that setup absolutely crushes them I want to go over the setups that we use here today so you guys can see and understand better um, how we're fishing for these spring chinook down here. So, grab this rod. What we got is right here on the rod, we got a VIP line lock. This, this line lock is a weight slider, right? And it's going to lock your bead chain in place so you don't get line twists when you're fishing a 360 flasher like this short bus. 360 we have right here and then we're, get, we're running I'm running 12 ounces of lead down here cannonball on the VIP line lock I like to run a 24 inch bumper so my uh, short bus flasher can get that perfect full rotation without limiting the flasher at all I do bead chains on both sides of that down to um, an interlock snap okay our weight obviously goes on the VIP let's put the rod back Then we have the short bus flasher, double agitator fin so you control slower. I'm running a 36 inch leader. I'm just gonna tell you outright, it's a 36 inch leader. Down to a prawn rig. If you wanna learn up how to tie, if you wanna learn how to tie up this prawn rig and the non-slip moochie rig, go over to my channel, Walking on Water, and you can learn how to tie it up there. Five, six millimeter chartreuse beads, just like that. Down to a ultra uv or a moon jelly 1.5 max smiley blade and every every chinook i've caught out here so far um, on drano and the wind river have been on the exact same setup so obviously this setup is what they're after and i feel like it's a great early morning setup it's a very subtle setup um, you don't have to i mean it's not whipping in the water it does has a pretty fast spin to it but there's no real thump to it right and we're using pretty small coon shrimp and um, brine and some pro cure products and stuff like that and so it's a perfect uh, pairing the little smiley blade is a perfect pairing to go with a nice small coon strip especially sitting behind one of these gorgeous chrome I mean you can see yourself in it it's so mirror chrome freaking short bus 360 flasher so that's the setup that we caught this Chinook on today we're gonna get back to the boat ramp we're gonna fillet it up. We're gonna head back to the hotel really fast and we're gonna throw it in the cooler and then we're gonna get ready to go find a freaking rod holder and then probably get back down here and do a little lake fishing on Drano if it's not just absolutely crazy. But successful morning down here on the freaking Wind River. If you guys have fished the Wind River before or you've fished the Columbia River, drop a comment down below and tell me not where you're fishing, but where you're fishing out of. Where are you from? What rivers do you like to fish for Spring Chinook? And what are your go-to setups? So comment down below on that. Again, like, subscribe, and share these videos out to your friends or buddies that want to learn how to catch these absolute gorgeous spring Chinook. These setups are go-to setups for me, and they obviously, if you can't tell, from the last couple of videos have been just absolutely crushing the fish down here. So stay tuned, guys. We're going to hit the hotel, and then we're going to get back out on the water at Drano Lake, and we're going to freaking box a fish. It'd be pretty cool to get out there and catch a fish on wind and Drano all in one day. So. We're gonna try to make that happen for you guys. Stay tuned, we'll see you in a little bit. All right guys, what's up? Day two, Columbia River. We're headed back to Wind River today. Um, we're getting a little bit of a late start today. It is 10 a.m. Um, yesterday we got up super early, got out there and got the job done super early as well. Um, had a lot of rain this morning and the wind was actually a lot heavier in the morning time. And so I was just checking the wind and it had gone down and it's going to continue going down throughout the day. It's raining. I'm fine with that. I don't care about the rain. When there's 35 mile an hour wind gusts, it's a little bit tough for me to get out there. And so it's died down a ton and we are headed to the freaking Wind River boat ramp right now. And so I will see you guys on the freaking water. Hopefully we're getting it done today at Wind River and then we can move up to Drano Lake for an afternoon fish because I mean there's there's another 6,000 freaking boats at Drano right now which is very, very cool. It's really fun. I just want to get my fish at wind and then be able to get to Drano and so we can hopefully get one on the main body of the Columbia and then one at Drano Lake all in the same day. So stay tuned for that, guys. We're heading down to the boat ramp right now. As you can see, I'm driving and I will catch you guys on the water. We're just now trolling under the bridge out here at Wind River. Day two. It's like 1045. 
We're gonna go out, we're gonna hit the same run we hit yesterday. Just back and forth, back and forth. We're gonna be running the same setups. Today I'm running two prawn rigs at once. And if those don't work, we're gonna go ahead and switch it out and go into like a Brad's coconut cut plug or something along those lines. So we're trolling out there right now. We got our weights in hand, freaking flashers already on the rods. I'll see you guys out there. Let's go bonk another freaking big one today. Let's go. Just changed my freaking to the electric pole dancer. Dancer flasher on a bright orange flasher. 
came back out, first pass. It hit my first rod, I grabbed it, looked back to the second rod, and it was just pinned. Absolutely freaking insane. It's a hatchery, baby. That's what we came for. Let's go, guys, let's go. All right, guys, we're gonna get out of the get out of the freaking super windy water right now. We're gonna go back in and hear this cove and take a look at this bad girl. Yeah, I freaking came back in and changed everything out, put on a brighter flasher. First pass, like it hit my left rod, and I looked over and I went to grab it, and I look over and this rod is just pinned. So I don't know if it hit both or if it was different ones or what, but both my rods were tangled. Both the hooks are in the net from both rods, so. All right, guys. Day two, win frickin' river, and it was another success. Couldn't be more happy, couldn't be more blessed. Got out here a little bit late, like I said. Frickin' the wind and rain was just absolutely whipping today. Um, pretty big for the little kayak, but hey, we powered through, and we came back in, made some small adjustments. I'll go over the setup here in a second, and Went back out on the water in the first pass after that adjustment. We freaking got into this gorgeous hatchery, spring freaking Chinook, number two at Wind River. It's a one fish limit out here. And so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna move up to Drano Lake. And for the next two days, we're just gonna be hitting Drano, trying to bust out some freaking Chinook on Drano Lake. So Wind River, freaking success, man. I couldn't be more happy. Gotta come down here last week and catch a fish at Drano. And then this week we're back down here again and we're catching fish at Wind River. So. A little Wind River how-to to catch uh, spring Chinook salmon is coming you guys' way on my channel, so I'll show you guys what I was using to catch these fish. <laughs> 